Microsoft Ways launching Indiana Jones on a PS5. What do you think about that? So I think they should. I think that's a smart thing. I understand that, um, you know, it was originally announced for just Xbox and PC. Um, I can I can understand it on being a timed exclusive. Um, I totally understand that, but I don't think they should ever just like not consider having it on a PS5. Now, how long of a time exclusive? I don't know. A year seems like almost like a standard. Also seems a little bit long, too, for just, you know, this this new IP game over here, Indiana Jones. That seems kind of long. Like I understood when they did it for like Call of Duty or something like that. But like maybe six months. Um, I I understand fully Microsoft keeping their core games only on there. Like I would never expect them to have Halo on, on PlayStation. That one I totally understand. But for new games, for new games that I I think that is definitely a discussion to be considered. And I think to hit a wider audience, it just benefits them more to have it on more platforms. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't recall the last time I thought about a game being exclusive on a platform. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing either. Uh, I think that uh, with the trailer that I saw for Indiana Jones, and it is an amazing experience just by what we saw, right? And what we're looking forward to, uh, to have it being played on other platforms, I think it's always going to be a win be- from from the business standpoint, right? Because the company, at some point, they're going to make more money, right? So when we think about the pandemic, and PlayStation deciding to start bringing their games over to the PC. That was a great move for them, right? They released some titles there and we're like, okay, wow, you know, we have God of War now. We can play on PC and that's an amazing thing. So I think that, I don't know if a year for me, like at this point, a year is too long because things seem like they're just moving so much faster. So yeah, that's how I feel too. Like yeah. maybe even six months seems kind of long. So like maybe three months. Yeah. And depending on when the game releases, what window that is, right? So if it releases at the heart of the holiday, then you could hold it till spring for the exclusive. So if you drop it November, then you could hold the exclusive till, you know, March, April or till June before the summer game fest of the world and anything that happens. Right. So I think it really depends on when the game drops contractually if that's a thing i don't know how it works i'm just thinking out loud here and then decide how long it is from the time that it is you know dropped if it's a march release then you can hold it till again after the holiday because you want individuals to go on your platform uh to get it so i I think it's it, it could be a tricky thing but it does whatever that time frame is it always benefits the company first and then it benefits the company again because now it's a wider, wider net, if you want to call it that. And they're still going to be benefiting from the revenue for that. So, yep. yeah. So, so any other thoughts on there? No. All right. We um, we're, we're good. 